Black educated and in love. This girl, if y'all can see what happened behind the scene, boy, this I'm girl sleepy, is funny. so part of this is delirium. But so. anyway, we yeah. are at episode number six. Yes. And we want to thank you for tuning in and showing support. And right now, we need you to stop this video. Don't stop it and leave it. Yeah, stop. Come back. And go subscribe to this YouTube channel. We need you to subscribe right now. Yes. We gave you a second. Now we're back. <laughs> but no, uh, thank you uh, again for all the support. The book, Through the Eyes of, the Man, of a Man, The Truth About College Day and Revealed to Women, is out there for you to purchase at uh, CoreyGuyton.com. Please support this movement. And so let's jump into today's topic. Um, we have a question that we just want to throw out. Can you love someone and not like them? Hmm. Good question. Yes. Yeah, and so to start things off, we're gonna answer that question from our perspective. But Chutney is gonna give you two def or few definitions for love and like. Okay, so I went this morning to find definitions for like and love, hoping that it would help us in formulating the topic. So what I found for love, and did I say using Webster's already? Yeah. Okay. So I used the online version, and the definition I found for like was to feel attraction for or to take pleasure in, to enjoy. So for love, there were four or five definitions. And I'm gonna read them all out, but I will leave you with some major takeaway points from the definition that we want you to focus on. Uh, the first definition for love is a strong, def a strong affection out of kinship or personal ties. Remember personal ties. An attraction based on sexual desire, an affection based on admiration, benevolence, or common interest, a warm affection or, excuse me, a warm attachment or devotion. So we want you to focus on that too, devotion or a warm attachment. And then the last is an unselfish love or benevolent concern for the good of another. So that basically is talking about you not wanting any harm to come to the other person, having a genuine concern for that person and their well-being. So we want you to focus on that as well for this love definition and we'll kind of tie it all in later on in the video. You know she a researcher when she gave y'all the citation for where she got it from. <laughs> she didn't just say a dictionary. She said, did I tell them Webster's Dictionary? Yeah, because I have to give, I have I tell, to give I, Webster you, credit. You know she's a researcher. <laughs> oh my gosh. Me, I would have just been like, man, the dictionary said this. But no, and so to answer the question that we initially asked, can you love a person but not like a person? And we believe it to be yes. yes. We think you can love a person but not like a person. But we feel that you need both of them to have a strong, successful relationship. Right. And so, what does it look like whenever a person love a person but not like a person? There are situations, and we talk to people all over the country that email us, and we talk to people on campus, we talk to people everywhere about relationships, and sometimes you meet people who genuinely love a person and want to be with a person because of the amount of time they put into the person, the amount of energy they put into a person, and just that connection and that attachment that they have to the person, which is the love piece. Mm -hmm. But then again, they don't like the way the person makes them feel. They don't like... Um, they ultimately be, don't take pleasure right, or they aren't happy in it. Right. They're not happy in the relationship. They don't like to be around the person. And it's like, man, why are y'all together? But they genuinely love that person. They want that person. They don't want to see that person hurt. And you also talked about how um, sometimes these women or these men don't see a future with that person right. either. Yes. And so, yeah, some people don't see a future. I'm like, you know, so what's your next step? That's not the person I'm marrying. Yeah, well, then why are you still... Like, what, what are y'all working towards? Right. You know, and so that is kind of showing that a person loves a person but doesn't necessarily like them. And you're thinking that this love comes out of the the investment of time mm -hmm. and energy. Um, right, sex, and it's talking about sex. Yes. That's the love, right. the um, sexual peace. All that comes in and creates that love, but it doesn't mean you like the way the person treats you and make you feel. Right. And so um, we want to answer that question. Now we want to talk about our relationship and the fact that I don't like Chutney. You know, <laughs> I, 
<laughs> no, I'm joking. He slid that in there so I smooth. I did. I did slip it in there so smooth. But no, we really want to talk about our relationship and how we got on this topic. It was Chutney. One day we were talking about our relationship because we always talk about our relationship. And we were talking about how we like each other beyond just love. And like what it looks like in our relationship. We, I like Chutney as a person. You like me? Oh, she hesitated, y'all. On, on every third Tuesday and Friday. See, that's messed up. <laughs> now, let me tell y'all who she do between, like, though. Between no, 5 and 6 Now, listen, p.m. she had to hesitate with me. Watch this right here. You like Idris Elba? Oh, yeah. You see how fast she said that? See, oh, that's yeah. messed up. Oh, see, she yeah. like Idris Elba. Who doesn't don't like, like Idris Elba? Me. I don't like him. Idris he Elba be, is He better not let me see him on the street. I'm going to knock him out. Hey, look at that. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> oh, but listen. Um, but Ooh. also... <laughs> Let's get back serious, but we like being around each other. Do Chutney? you like Halle Berry? Yeah. Oh. See? She talking about my baby. Yeah. But, See? <laughs> that's my other wife, if y'all don't know. But, <laughs> but we also like being around each other on a serious note. Um, Chutney is leaving today, and she's going out of town. <laughs> it's going to be all right, though. I'm serious though, honestly, but we realize that it's tough for us to actually separate because we really enjoy being around each yeah. other. Go see my Facebook um, status. Right. Yeah. I enjoy her company. She enjoys my company, and that's what you gotta have. Especially we we gotta have we're gonna have to preserve that when our relationship goes further. We have to enjoy being around each other. So that means that I have to put effort in her into her. She has to put effort into me. Um, we don't ever feel any feelings of regret. Do you want to explain? What that yeah, means? yeah, because. When we do have disagreements I or arguments, I be cussing her out, boy. He doesn't even. I don't cuss. even cuss. So. Doesn't, doesn't curse. Doesn't curse. Oh, I curse. Um, same thing. So, so yeah, same thing. But yeah, so so as any normal couple, we have disagreements, arguments, and that kind of thing. And even in the midst of those, even after those, there's never a time where we are regretful about the decision that we made right. to be with one another. I'm not thinking about any other person. <laughs> hey, man, you're going to make me go get my pistol. I'm not trying to talk. It'll but just, we're <laughs> hey, man, you better go on and get off TV or something, bro. But we're not ever, um, we're so silly today. But no, we're not ever thinking <laughs> about ladies. other people. We're not, um, we're not wishing that we had, you know, stayed with our past people or that we would have talked to someone else. It's, it's none of that. We're seriously focused on um, working out the issue or the disagreement that we've had. We're working, we're, we're focused on each other. And um, I, we think that that's really important in this this um, notion of liking one another. Right. And I think the most important point that we're going to make is that it's important to like the way the other person makes you feel. I love the yeah. way she makes me feel. Today, I was your boy was in there cleaning the way up. you make me feel, you know, you turn. Oh, Lord, that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't put that on YouTube. But listen, no. you're gonna put it on YouTube. <laughs> I know. But listen, I was your boy was cleaning the kitchen today. Your boy made up the bed this morning too. Yeah. And you know she sent me a text so message. So proud of you. You know you, she sent your boy a text message and say you know I appreciate that. And I said you know what I'm saying that made me feel good. <laughs> and she said you know I appreciate you washing the dishes because your boy get in there and try to do a little something. It made me feel good. <laughs> See a lot of men don't want to say that, but it made the boy feel good. But I always try to tell her things also. But it's always the way the person makes you feel not even just saying things like that but just the way like maybe if he opens the door for you take you out to dinner do those makes things you feel secure make in you the feel relationship secure and all those things that you're and that the back, only person and that goes back to communication because right. communication is always verbal communication it's your non-verbals right. um and also trust that builds that trust and everything we always talk about in other videos um and so we want to leave you with a couple points and the first point well Chutney's going to tell you the first point, which is your relationship should be enjoyable. Oh, yeah. So, um, and going back to the definition of like before, you want to make sure that it's a relationship that you enjoy. Again, as I mentioned before in our relationship, there's times when, you know, I have habits that kind of drive Corey up the wall and vice versa. So, um, there may be times when we're not happy with each other or something that the other has done. But overall, when we think about the relationship, when we think about the other person overall, we... Um, we we enjoy the relationship. We enjoy each other being around each other. We're happy mm -hmm. in the relationship, and we're happy, very happy with one another. So that's very very important um, 
for you to take away from this video and right. this topic. And the second thing is when you talk, this is a good gauge, when you talk about the other person, how does it feel when you talk about the other person? Right. When I talk about shutting down on camera, I don't know if y'all really know, I light up because that's that feeling of you look at it. See, she <laughs> lighting up because the way I'm talking about it now. You, you're naturally light anyway, so uh, you always so hey, go. <laughs> but you should feel a feeling of euphoria whenever you talk about the person yeah. you're with. It shouldn't be when I ask you about your significant other or somebody else asks you about your significant other, you just like... <laughs> You know, you like your mood change and get negative. Yeah, That's yeah. a good gauge of if you really like the person or you just love that person. Even in the midst of an argument or even in the mm -hmm. midst of a time when you all may not be on the on the, the best of terms, you still, um, the feelings that you have toward that person shouldn't really... Uh, Wayne too too much right and so that's what we wanted to give you today and we want to say thank you for supporting yes, us you. and tune back in next Monday for another episode thank you have a good day bye bye bye